Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Welcome, my hadith disciples, YouTubers, and viewers upon the Sunnah and Athar to another exclusive episode of FMF 5 Minutes of Fa'ida. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. And the Sahihain, Sahih al Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, the well known report of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha that the Messenger of Allah alayhi salatu wa salam said, Man amila amalan laysa alayhi amruna fahu raddun. أو كما قال أو بهذا المعنى من أحدث في أمرنا هذا ما ليس منه فهو رد. The hadith states that whoever introduces, whoever makes up, whoever brings into our religion this thing of ours, this affair of ours, our deen, our sharia, our aqidah, our Islamic identity, our way based off of divine revelation, Quran and Sunnah, sent down. From the heavens, from above, from the sky. Allah Azza wa sent down this deen. He legislated, he revealed this deen, he sent it down. Alright? Whoever brings into some, brings into our religion this thing of ours, this affair of ours, this heavenly divine system of life and death, he thinks and feels that something is missing, something is lacking. And even if a person doesn't say it verbally, but his body language proves that there's something missing and there's a need for uh, something to be truncated or for something to be omitted or taken or trimmed, etc. Man ahdatha fi amrina hadha. Anyone who introduces in the acts of worship and the matters of what we believe in, our creed, our faith, the Islamic system of politics, etiquette, suluk, character, amruna, our affair, this thing of ours, fuhurad, yani mardud. Then it shall be rejected. It will be rejected. It is rejected. It is useless. It is of no worth and it is of no value. No matter how popular this practice has become, no matter how widespread and how accepted this aqidah or this system of interpretation has become, it is rejected. There's another version of this hadith that states, Men amila is that whoever performs an act of worship i.e. a person may say, well, I didn't make up the innovation. I'm just following people. I'm just following the scholars. I'm just following the culture. I'm just following what these people said, etc., etc. Then it is also rejected. So whether you made the innovation, whether the innovation was made for you, what's important is that it's not from Quran and Sunnah. What's important is, is that it, is, it did not come from the heavens. It did not come from above. It was not sent down. Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam did not bring it to the Messenger of Allah whether you made it up, whether someone made it up for you, فَهُوَرَدْ Then it shall be rejected. So this hadith of course is from uh, the core principles of the religion. All right, It is a, it's considered to be a, a maxim of the religion. And many scholars, they take this hadith along with the narration of Umar radiallahu anhu uh, that إِنَّمَا الْعَمَلُ بِالنِّيَةِ or الْعَمَلُ بِالنِّيَةِ These are based off of intentions. So how do we judge and how do we weigh, how do we calculate, how do we declare or determine a deed to be sound, to be valid or invalid based off of one's inner intentions, the niya in the heart. And then obviously the second scale or the second tool of measuring is, is it based off of Quran and Sunnah. So for deed to be valid in Islam, and it must be sincerely done for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And for, for a deed to be valid in Islam as well, it has to be based off of the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. It has to be based off of the legislation. So if you have a good intention, without the proper legislation, the deed means nothing. If it was done according to the sunnah, but showing off, seeking people, seeking the help of people, seeking the love of people, the praise of people, the acclaim of people, then it is rejected. So therefore, the deed to be valid, and inshallah ta'ala for the deed to be accepted, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it must be done sincerely and it must be done according to kitab and sunnah. These are the two basic principles for acceptance, for validity of deeds in al-Islam that every single Muslim should know about. Every Muslim should know this. In order for the deed to be sound, hajj, salah, wudu, etc. Now, let's spin the page really quick. Let's talk about some fiqh issues. Briefly, this hadith, among many others, is a proof and evidence of the scholars who say that in the talaq al bid'i la yaqa is that if a man divorces his wife in the improper time, the improper manner, menstruation, they were intimate, etc., then it is also rejected. And how can it be valid? 